listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just Morning, ain't Arthur. doing that no more. We all of us have to sing for our supper, miss. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, suppose I can discuss the matter with God? Do whatever you god dang him, please. with the holler. Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Oh, oh I need medicine or a siphon. Oh, All oh, right. Uh, All right. Oh, Quit moaning. Christ. Oh, oh, God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Not that right. I do. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. Get. Get. Pretty good hunt there, boy.
Yep. It's you. Hello, mister. So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. something for me okay keep this just between us now won't you This is a tight ranch. Folk here got no time for masks. Okay, let's see. a few of these myself.
Good choice. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Thanks for your assistance. Hey, hey! Why are you putting that mask on? Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, 
You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards roads. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Boom. Oh. Yep. So, we've knocked the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Get up there. Finish up here. Hey. Join us on board. Go on. Get on there. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Why are you wasting our time? Don't you show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? 
Quick, no, come on! Please. Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. Please. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt you. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. No. Why do this? Please, please, don't help me. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn to nothing. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Look! Look at that! Here come the... Oh, come on, Trilly, please! You see him?
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Arthur. Oh, hey, Karen. Javier. Hello, Uncle. Karen? Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. 
All right, Pearson. Good, we really needed this. Thank you, Arthur. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. <laughs> Appreciate it, Pearson. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. So, how are you? Garbage. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? 